feel like I've this is where I've been I've been here disappointed but it's just something like dang I wish my hair was a little a little longer you know what I'm saying can we graze the shoulder right here but well folks that was year one and here we are year two a little bit longer a little bit longer you have to trust the process everyone welcome back to my channel I am super excited for today's video because your girl is two years locked get into the makeup okay get into the nails we a Barbie girl y'all my hair is really growing like I feel like year one you know my hair was like getting thicker okay year two I'm finally starting to see some length and it's just like wow like we're sitting we're sitting on the shoulder okay we're pa actually this is my shoulder this is my shoulder we're past shoulder okay we're we're past shoulder let me show you out the back real quick it's sitting it's it's resting on my back okay are y'all seeing it anyway y'all know me i love a curl so i always like to have curls in my hair i just feel like it frames my face better and it just looks on me personally i think it just looks better on me than just having straight hair so i always have curls in my hair i thought i would do a little spin on my two-year locked video of course i will give you updates on my hair in this video but i also just wanted to include a little portion for answering questions Ask you all on my youtube channel community tab if you had any questions about micro locks um so i did get a few comments and I want to answer them but to before that let's just go ahead and do my little two-year update I really want to keep it kind of short like I said a little earlier year two I started to see more growth and that is the biggest thing for me throughout this whole journey up until this point I had been so focused on like this tiny little bit of breakage that I was experiencing like little on just like the loose pieces of my hair where it wasn't locked like a block a braid like this okay of my hair where it was still loose at the ends that's where i was seeing like this little breakage when i would style my hair you know when i would wash my hair i would kind of see like this small breakage but i couldn't find anyone starting out in their journey who was just talking about this like i don't know for me i feel like it is normal um i'm gonna still talk about it but i don't think it's really an issue like i don't have locks bits of my lots snapping off it's like these little tiny hairs i don't know maybe again i do color my hair and i always say yes i color my hair this brown color it's just a basic black box dye but the exact end of my hair is from when i used to bleach my hair like after shaving my head or whatever or cutting all my hair off i immediately went and like bleached my hair with you know like 30 volume developer in bleach and I still have, you know, remnants of hair from that experience. That's why the ends of my hair are this lighter color. I, with my box dye, I only go over my roots, okay? I never put the dye on any other part of my hair. So the color that you're seeing on my ends, this is just the color. So that's that. I do get small breakage, but I've kind of like pretty much accepted it. Um, other than that, I guess another thing regarding my hair is just uh, the braid pattern. I talked about the braid pattern uh, that I still have back in April or March or something. So yes, I still have some braid pattern even after being locked two whole years. I still have some braid pattern. The braid pattern is generally in the front where on the locks that have it. So like this little braid, it looks like it was braided yesterday. <laughs> like it's so it looks so good versus all of this that has been interlocked this is all interlocked and here we have this braid that looks like it was braided yesterday so I'm trying to see if I can I have several more like that you know doesn't generally bother me too much like it really doesn't bother me at all I'm not gonna even hold you it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me you look at the back of my head or some in the middle like i have some lumps and bumps but not a lot of braid pattern most of my braid pattern is at the top of my head 
My braid pattern is at the top, like this handful of locks here. Most of it looks good. <laughs> Moving to the back. Like the ones that do, like they look slightly remnants of the braids, but not really, you know? Like not really, not like at the top. I will say this year I kind of like fluctuated a lot more with my retie schedule. Um, generally I had gone every six weeks, like I count out the weeks that I should be going and I make sure to contact my lactician, you know, the week before and make sure I can get an appointment in. Now sometimes I think I've gone at five weeks one time in year one, but this year I've kind of like, it's been times where I went up to eight weeks without having a retie and that was like, mm -hmm. And that's kind of where I started um, doing a lot of my edge work myself. Um, so like year one, I don't think I ever like was like, oh, let me go ahead and interlock my hair. Now year one, you guys know, um, I did like undo some locks in the back and me undoing those locks caused my hair to like restart the locking process. So within that process, um, you I restarted the locking process. So fresh braids, but this time I braided for looser than I did when I initially did my installation um, and then I noticed that like my hair like shrunk up in like this middle section in the back I'll insert some pictures this is from the end of April of 2022 when I had redone those sections and here is I think in July and you can see my hair is was now at that point in two sections like there are two layers in my hair um, in 2022 you can see here as well this was around September my hair still had these two layers and then this is December and my hair still in these two layers but now it is start to kind of grow out like it before it was like it was like up here when it had shrunk up and now those hairs are y'all they're like down here <laughs> very shocking like wow so I definitely always say like braiding looser does help but of course when the hair does have more room to wiggle and move around you will get a lot of shrinkage i fluctuate a lot with like my retie schedule and i know like six weeks really is my sweet spot because i'm telling y'all it hasn't even been six weeks but i had to like lay my edges down just a little bit going on three weeks since i've had like a retie and like my edges is doing a lot like not that like the rest of my hair is not bad. Um, I start to get lock marrying probably like week five, week six. So week six really is my sweet spot. But if I go longer than that, I'll usually end up doing um, my edges a perimeter. So I've done a, a perimeter retightening video if you guys want to see it. Um, in case you want to know how to interlock your own hair if you ever need it to. Like, so I definitely know how to interlock my hair if I if it ever comes to that. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I started these and I my plan was to have somebody else maintain them and I have um, stuck by that. <laughs> Other than that, what else is new? I still color my hair on a 12 week schedule. I don't know, like I really just be living, like honestly, I'm not even on like a wash routine or nothing like that. I just wash my hair when I when I scratch my scalp and if I'm getting build up, I need to wash my hair. If I've been, you know, outside a lot, I need to wash my hair like it's just, how I feel you know but it's not like on a weekly basis or you know anything that's really structured like I went to the um, water park on like June July 7th and like the next morning I went in like wash my hair you know just wash my hair the next day and I love a braid out I have tutorials on it there's a specific way that I like to do mine and honestly I've been experimenting with less products in my hair so like I said I'm not really on a wash routine or anything like that I just kind of let my hair tell me when it needs to wash um the last time I had my hair washed was at my lactician's house and then I got in the ocean well then I got in the water park and then I decided to wash my hair the next day so it, it's pretty reasonable like I'm not going three months without washing my hair or even a month sometimes you know but um, I just let my hair tell me what it wants to do. Also been experimenting with not using products in my locks, okay? Like y'all know in my braid lock, my braid and curl tutorial where I show you how I do my braid out, um, I use mousse in that video and I use hairspray. Um, lately for the last couple of braid outs that I've been doing, I even recorded a video. It hasn't gotten that many views yet. So 
if you're interested, check out that no product braid out. Um, and it was just me going along the days with my hair with no product and seeing how it lasts. From that, I learned that my hair can last like a week, at least a week without no product at all. Like literally just doing the braids with water, not even leaving the braids in like a long time. Like I le literally left the braids in for a day and a half with this one, did no product, just water, took it out like the second day at night, like in the evening time. And my hair is still has a curl. It still has a crinkle, like girl, get into it. So yes, so now I'm kind of like becoming like a, like almost like a no product, no styling product type of girl. Beginning of the year, I had been trying to do more treatments, which I have videos about those as well. Like I tried a, you know, protein treatment in my hair. I've only done that one, but I may do another one. Um, it's been a while. I know you're not supposed to do it too often. I've done the Olaplex treatment a couple of times. Like I just try to remember to do it like put that in my hair, do my shower routine, like do them like my out of shower routine first, like washing my face and brushing my teeth and then get in the shower, like rinse that product out and basically then putting in the second step and then leaving that in for the remainder of my shower and then washing it out like when I'm about to get out of the shower. So yeah, I've been, I do that more frequently, which is um, the Olaplex bone repair versus the Apogee protein treatment. I've only done that once, but I may do it again soon. Um, yeah, I did try to get a lock detox this year. My loctician was like, girl, you, you don't need a lock detox. And I just really kind of thought I did because sometimes it seems like it takes a lot to rinse, you know, the hair dye from my hair and I don't want things to get stuck in my hair but she assured me that I didn't need it. So still no lock detox for me. It goes to back to that no product thing. I don't put products in my hair on a daily basis anymore. Like since me, of course it's a style, but like I haven't just sprayed my hair with water. Like I've ran some oil through my scalp because I'll do that every couple of days, you know, just put some oil in my scalp. But as far as like spraying, you know, a mist or water on my hair, I don't do it too much. Now when my hair is straight, I probably will spray a lot more water, but I don't know, I've just been in like this no product kick lately. Just kind of like leaving my hair alone a lot, you know, like just letting it do what it do. And I think it's working because I'm really starting to just see some length. And it's just, honestly, these past few months, I've just been kind of leaving my hair alone. <laughs> just experimenting with that more, like, having my hair like in curls and then not having to do anything to it for a week that's freedom for me that's freedom and yeah i have the other things i want to say is just like really nice things about how other people feel about my hair but i wanted to address it in the in the questions so that's that i've been really taking it a lot more easy in year two with my locks as i continue to for the rest of the year I don't really have anything really negative to say. I haven't had any bad lock experiences. I keep it pretty simple. And nowadays I do the bare minimum, like literally the bare minimum. That's my two year lock update. So let's get into the questions that you all asked me. So this question, I'll put them on screen says, how do you feel or deal with shrinkage? The lessons you've learned about trusting this journey and if anyone has treated you different since you've become locked, men included, men included. Yeah. Okay. So let's start. This is like a multi-layer thing. So let's just talk about it. How do you feel or deal with shrinkage? Now, when I first did my locks, I felt like it was at a place to where my hair looks like it is now. I'll see if I can include pictures. Like my hair, when I first did it, like it was definitely touching back. Like So I was like, okay, cool, my locks, I did braid locks because the reason that I did braid locks was because this was one of the methods that allowed you to keep some of your length, which is what I expressed to you all in my installation video, was why I chose this method and I don't really care that it, you know, takes forever to lock or maybe not lock at all. But as you can see, I have a lot of lockage. And like, like I mentioned earlier, like that section in the middle of my hair that I redid several of those locks last May, I redid several of those sections and you know my hair shrunk up and honestly it was annoying but it wasn't really like 
I mean, I can't see the back of my head, but I get it. I get it. The shrinkage can be real, but I me, mean, I just feel like it's a part of the journey. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. Like my hair honestly did shrink up quite a lot just from, you know, the initial process. Like y'all, like in the beginning, my hair was looking quite crazy if it focuses. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this picture, my hair just kind of looked, it looked a little crazy. Like it be starting off cute and then it don't be cute. So this was after like me being in the ocean and my hair like shrunk up a lot and it just be like, I'm not naked. I had a bit like, you know, I had a romper on. So y'all know that, but a part of the journey, which I guess is why I like style my hair a lot but sometimes i would just be looking slightly crazy but i mean the pictures of my hair that i wore to work they were kind of cute you know i could still pull in a little bun i could still do you know like a something like this i was still able to do something like that like this is my hair with like a braid out so it looks a lot better so those look a lot better but it's just a part of the journey like if you like as long as my hair kind of had like a curl or something, I could put it in a bun and I could put it in a bun. As long as I could do something like that, I was fine because to be honest, like that's how I dealt with it. But it didn't really bother me too, too much because I knew how to manipulate my hair in, that, in those ways. So what lessons have I learned about trusting this journey? Honestly, I just, again, I wish I had locked my hair sooner um again i didn't start really short i know a lot of people they start this process when their hair you know is a lot shorter in the process and i know in that stage of the journey it can take a little bit more to trust the journey which nothing is wrong with that but this was something that i wanted for a long time and for me i was honestly really tired of coming up with styles to do my, to do to my hair like it was really getting annoying, like always having to do something to my hair. Like when people say, I gotta do something to my hair, like I got tired of saying that. So for me, the whole, from the moment that I got locks, it was just kind of like freeing. And I don't mean to just say that to take away from your feelings because they're very valid. And sometimes I do be, I feel like I have bad hair days, even with my hair at the length that it is now. Sometimes when I don't have a curl in my hair and I go to work, sometimes I do be feeling like I look a little out of place. Like I look unkept sometimes. Like some of those feelings still come to me. But for the most part, I just still feel like this is one of the best things that has I've ever done for me. And it's not like I just had no adversity along the way. Like literally I had family members, you know, the ones that I really care about, are always asking me, you wanna, you keep that in your hair? I just miss the styles that you used to do. Like I've had, you know, these people tell me, I've had family tell me that like, basically my hair didn't look good. Like all the time. For me, it was like, I'm doing this for me and I've seen the fruits of other people's labor <laughs> and I want that. So for me, it's just, I know you're not supposed to like compare your hair to uh, someone else's, but just seeing like there's this YouTuber, she has a braid locks. I think her name is Keisha. She wears her hair straight a lot, but she's like, I don't know, a year five or year seven with her and her locks look so good. At the end of the day, I just remember that I'm doing this for me and I can see myself like with these long, luxurious, luxurious locks. Like I see that for me and that's just the vision that I keep in my head. So trusting the process, what I've learned is realize why you are, you've you done what you've done. Like I don't wanna spend, I cannot fathom like combing through my hair, like action in the back, immediately feeling like, dang, if I were to comb up my whole head, I would have to comb through this and girl, no, I don't, I just don't want that. So just just remembering why you started this journey in the first place. I don't have much more to say than that. And has anyone treated me differently? I can't say I've had people treat me negatively. I will say that me having locks now, and I, I say this a lot, and I hope y'all don't think I'm lying, but I get the most compliments on my hair now in this locked state, in this state that feels like 100% me, like 
when I leave the house and this is my hair and I don't have to do anything to it, it just feels like me. And people, men, I know you, you mentioned men included. Honestly, they all, I like your hair. Like I remember running for the bus stop to like, what was that? Before I left to go back home to Alabama. And like these two guys, they were just kind of standing in the corner of like the breezeway talking to each other. And I'm running to catch the train and they was like, I like your hair and I'm like thank you and I'm like still like I don't know I get so many compliments people want to know like what's what's that men be asking me questions like are those locks are those dreads and I'd be like mm-hmm and they'd be like I like that on you thank you like honestly to for me personally it has just been really positive it's honestly been positive um I feel like I I even okay at a work training event um I remember I was at Starbucks at our training facility and a, another girl, she had locks, she came over and I think, I don't know if I said I like your locks or she said she liked my locks and we ended up sitting at that Starbucks table for like three hours and it turns out we were in all the same like training classes and then our rooms ended up being right next to each other. Like just because we had locks, we had something to talk about. Like if I see another girl with locks, I'd be like, I like your locks. I like your locks like it's a conversation starter like girl I don't know like locks I feel like kind of changed my life for the better <laughs> um I just feel to be honest I just feel free and I do have one of my friends she has locks as well and we started with like the same method but she doesn't have like as many as me but I still like I feel like hers are still micro locks. Life has just changed for the better. Like it's so much easier. This is one of the comparison pictures that I wanted to show you, both all of you. Just get this, y'all. December 2021. Look at my locks and look at my locks now. Like, look at that change. Same hairstyle, same professional photos. My job, I don't feel like people treat me different because of my locks. Um, I've noticed at my job that people, I've seen a lot of people with like regular locks. Um, like there's guys, like I work in business, right? I work in accounting, you know, we, we be business casual up in there or suited up in there sometimes depending on who's in the office. I, I never felt treated like I was treated different because of my locks. Like I know that in a certain instance, like micro locks are considered more acceptable than traditional locks. I don't really like to say that because I think all locks are beautiful and you should have the freedom and choice to have any hairstyle that you please. But I've noticed in my industry at my job that lots of black and brown people have locks. Like people have their hair co covered at my job. The guys, he kind of wear his hair like pulled in a ponytail a lot, which is cool. And I noticed like at one event I went to, there was this girl, she had like her own style. She had locks. They're kind of like bob length, but like longer than mine. And she had like a bandana over her locks and it was working for her in her brand. Like my job be like, hey, represent you and your brand. This is my brand. Well, moving on to the next question. You know, when my hair started to lock and at what frequency do I like renew them? So I guess like retie them. So again, like I say, I go between, for retightening, I go between a six and eight week schedule but six weeks is really my sweet spot like eight weeks is really pushing it as when did I notice my hair starting to lock I would probably like I can I know that in the beginning I had some like small like this part the back of my hair definitely started to lock um, before like a year before I was a year the back was already locking um, and I think we can see some of that in my six month lock update that I think I did in December of 2021 or January, I can't remember. But I think I was in DC when I did that video. That's my answer. So it started to lock like year one, but the back mostly. And then this year I've noticed like more of like the other portions of my hair locking and I just have, you know, just a tiny bit of crown area where I still have some braid pattern. And just to throw in, these pictures are from May of 2022, and you can see I still had a lot of loose ends, but as of 2023, this year I have nearly very little loose ends, only in the top of the front. So yeah, I had another question that was similar and it just asks um, like when I noticed the braid pattern start to disappear. So again, I noticed before I was a year, before a year depending on certain areas and they also ask um are you wetting your hair every day 
no, like nowadays, I do not wet my hair every day. And um, what products are you using for growth? Honestly, I don't think I focus too much on products specifically for growth. But I consider not really for growth, but just for, I guess, protecting the hair that I have already, not to just make it grow, but certainly it's just like those hair treatments that I mentioned, like the FOG protein treatment and the F, um, the Olaplex um, bond strengthening repair that you can get. They have the kit, I think it's step zero and number three. I could be wrong, but I'll correct myself if I am. So that's kind of what I do for the health of my hair, not really for growth necessarily. Okay, and the next one is hairstyles. You can do if you have locks and how regularly should you wash your locks. Um, so of course, you can do so many hairstyles. I've done like a, a video on easy, hair tutorial like easy hairstyles for micro locks but for me mostly I just like a good braid out a good braid out for me I've also done buns I've done a barrel twist tutorial recently if you like want to wear your hair up into a style um all of these like the micro lock playlist will be down below if you aren't if you're new to locks and you're not familiar with my micro lock playlist then please go through it there's like a beginner wash routine in there there's the braiding curl tutorial there's the barrel twist tutorial. There's the video where it's like several styles that you can do super easy. There are so many styles, half up, half down. Like I don't even have time to, this video will be too long if I just go through the styles. So definitely check out those videos below because I, I definitely have done a lot, a lot of styles. And how regularly should you wash your hair? I think at a minimum, if you are pretty active and you work out a lot, you may, I would just say, I feel, I feel like every two weeks is a good minimum to just do um, if, you, if you're starting out and don't know. If your locks aren't as mature, then definitely braid and band if you aren't. Um, if you have slippage, for me, I just wash my hair now when I feel like I need to. So this person says, I am thinking about trying micro locks. Did you start the process yourself? Yes, I did. I surely did. I have done a DIY micro lock installation video. And if you decide that you no longer want them, can you take them out? Yes. Or do you have to cut your hair and start over? I mean, both can be true. Um, it definitely will take you a long time to comb the micro locks out. But um, some people, they'd rather just shave their head. They, some people can't fathom sitting and combing out. You yes to both of those. It depends on how much time you have. Like some people, it took them month, like months or at least a month to comb out all their locks. And I don't foresee myself doing that. Not because I just like my locks. So I just really love my locks. Um, the last question that I see is, do you notice... Did you notice your texture change when recoloring your hair? Honestly, I don't think so. Um, I really don't think so. I use a pretty basic box dye. I think it's ammonia free. Um, it's the um, Revlon Color Silk Hair Dye. And I looked it up and it was rated as a pretty safe hair dye. And I don't think I'm having any negative effects from it. When I talk about the breakage, I'm literally talking about the breakage on my blonde ends where I don't even have the Revlon box dye. Okay. Like if I haven't had a retine a long time, I'll have like a lot of, you know, a lot of new growth to work with. And I've never noticed the texture to change or that to be an issue with me. So yeah, I don't think my hair changed too much with the box dye. So yeah, so that was the question portion of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I can't believe I'm two years locked, finally starting to see some of the fruits of my labor. I know you're, I know you're three. I hope to be like right here, girl. I hope so, I hope so. Uh, maybe I should get on a little growth regimen. I don't know, maybe we can try some things. But I'm gonna continue with my hair health treatments. I'm gonna continue just kind of leaving my hair alone. I feel like that's a, a beautiful factor. Do a braid out, make it last two weeks and keep it moving. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, I'm so excited to see two years of growth. And again, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Also check out my micro lock playlist because a lot of the questions, I can direct you to a video, okay? I make a lot of videos and y'all not watching them like y'all need to be because I need some, I want to make it to 100,000 subscribers, y'all. I've been doing YouTube for a minute and I love doing YouTube, but I also want a plaque. So can you help me? Help me get to 100,000. There's a lot of content on the channel. Yeah.
find something for you and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. I will see you all in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.